I'm going to show you how I, I like to fillet these. This is called quartering it. And what I'll, what I'll do is, my fillet knife, get under the fin and cut at an angle towards the head here. And get that top part cut and, and ready. Turn it straight and find the center of the fluke. You can feel it, that you have the fillet down here, fillet up here, and you got a backbone running here. You want to cut right down that along top of that backbone there. So you just lay your knife down here, go right through the skin, right through the center where the backbone is. Make sure you get all the way down to the bone. And I'll do the top fillet first. I'll start from the tail. And I'll put the knife right down to the to the backbone, turn it a little bit at a bit of an angle so I can get down alongside the backbone there and get that cut started. This. Then you start to work your way along those bones that run up from the backbone up to the top of the fish. I like to start peeling up fillet as I do it, so I can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm staying right along, right on top of those bones there, getting all that meat out. Come down along the top here, get that opened up. Continue on up to the top of the fish, getting all that meat out of there. Now towards the top of where the fillet ends, you still have a little bit of flesh in there to the top of the skin, to, to the top of the dorsal. And uh, that's kind of like a corduroy looking flesh that doesn't become part of the uh, fillet. So that's basically where you cut that off. Run your knife right along the bottom of the fillet there, right, right on top of where that flesh is. You got that top fillet. See what I mean? You still have this on, on the fish, but that's meat that you don't want on your fillet anyway. So now we have the top part done. Let's spin it around and do the bottom part. And here we have some rib cage that goes over where all the where all the organs are. And you don't have much meat there. But we're still gonna lay the knife flat there. Angle it down on top of that backbone so you can get down where the bones are. And just run the knife along that, feeling that you're on top of those bones. And now I'm in front of where that rib cage is, so I kind of stick the knife in there, get along tight part of those bones there. I'll run it up. See where that little rib cage is? There it is. And now we're down by the tip of the fillet. We're right alongside those bones. And we'll have the same thing going on here. But see so I got some bones up here that ended up on the top. So I just run the run my knife against those bones. And just peel them off get them back down where they belong. Now again, we'll have a section of skin there with just that flesh that you don't want on your meat. So that's where we're gonna cut the uh, fillet off. Right along that bottom part edge there. See how we left that on there? But we have the fillet fully done. And now we have cleanly removed fillet meat. So let's get on to the white side. <clears throat> we'll do the same thing. We'll cut at an angle, the knife on an angle. Cut, we'll cut at an angle, knife on an angle, up towards the head. And again, right down the center where the backbone is. A little easier to see on the white part because you kind of have like a like a black line that runs. It kind of goes like that, but. This is the line of where the backbone is, right, right past that curved part here. Now, the white skin is a little tougher than the dark skin. So that's going to be a little bit tougher to get through. So you just kind of hack your way through it. Stay straight right on top of that backbone. You can feel that as you're coming down. Right down to the tail here. See that didn't cut all the way. Make sure that cuts all the way down. And I'm just going to go with the bottom first here. Staying on top of the backbone. 
just the tip, a couple inches of the knife guiding my way along where those rib bones are. Peel it up so you can see what we're doing. Again, we're going to have that rib cage there where all those organs are protected. There's not much meat up there. So just carefully, while you're peeling up, work your way down with the, with the tip of the knife here. Go alongside those bones. Looks like we lifted a couple bones up here. So you, you get your knife on top of them, just kind of give them a little slice. See how they lay back down? See that? Laid right back down. Out of your meat. That's good. And carve that good. And you can see where that fillet ends, but you still have some skin with that corduroy looking flesh on there. So I like to start here and get that cut started right along the fillet there. And right down to the end. Good amount of meat there. And as you can see, we're right down to the rib bones. And turn where the well that was the that was the top. I said bottom. That was the top. I'm sorry. Well here we are towards the bottom now. Right along the rib the, the backbone, right up to that rib cage. I was wondering why when I was cutting up here there was no rib cage. It was all meat. Because I was on the top first, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect. But I still did a nice fillet, even though I was explaining it a little bit differently. So here we are on the bottom part of the fish, following those rib bones. Now here's that rib cage, see? Not much meat there. So carefully work your way down with the tip of the knife. Cut through that skin. Keep going down there. And make sure you're right down to where that flesh started. So you can get all the meat you can. See the difference there? I'll get rid of these little bit of bones here that I ended up peeling up with. So I can show you. See the difference? You got the fillet line here, and you got that corduroy looking flesh that's under the skin. That's not going to be part of the fillet. So we just cut right at that fillet line there. Cut that right off. Now you have four nice fillets. And I'm always curious to see what's in their stomachs. Oh boy, he was he was eating. Looks like he's got some decent food in his stomach. He was eating. Looks like uh Wow, American eel, right? No, what is that? Yeah, that's an American eel. Look at the size of that. He, he went right at that. Look, look how big that is. You can still see the eyes. And there's some uh, crabs, some sand fleas. Oh no, these are little calicos. They're, they're small, I thought they were sand fleas. They're little calicos. See, they like, to, they like to eat crabs that are stirred up by the waves. Look at the size of that eel that thing ate. See, you get a nice long strip baits. That's what they think that is. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna dump this in the bucket. And we're gonna skin these now. So I like to lay this at the end of the table, edge of the table, so I have my, so I can have my handle down on the edge of the table, so the blade ends up staying flat along the skin. This is the knife I use when I'm filleting. Thicker knife with, with the curved end on it. I like to work with this end of the knife when I'm working my way down. Skinning, I like the thinner blade. It runs right underneath, nice and easy. So I start with the end here. Cut my way down to the skin. Just keep it flat along the top of the skin. Follow it up with your fingers. Pinch dent, hold down really tight onto the cutting board. Nice long strokes. So you're using all the blade to cut. Take that right off the right off the skin. Look at that. Not a stitch of meat left on that skin. Down the bucket. 
front part again follow that knife up with your fingers keep that skin down onto the cutting board and work your way up get rid of that skin here's the white part same thing start at the bottom work your way up with your fingers nice long strokes with the knife good sharp knife slides right up there nice pulls all that off now I'm going to strip this out for bait so I'm going to leave that the last piece here Whoop. nice long strokes get right off the skin save that skin for strip baits now that we have our fillets off the skin clean it up a little bit some of these thin parts up here they'll burn when you go to cook them this little, this little point here just cut that right off at an angle it's okay to lose a little meat when you're when you're flying then look along along the edge here you can see where it's a little rough so I like to just run my knife up that edge just take all that rough edge off Off the top part here looks like we got a little little bit of blood soaked into the top there it's okay you really don't have to bleed out fluke uh, as much as you do other fish for some reason the blood doesn't really get into the meat as much so that's a nice fillet that's the top part and again whoop. here we got some of that blood just run that right up the edge there. Flip that around. Same thing, looks like we got some of that corduroy flesh that was down there and up here a little bit. So I just run my blade right alongside that. Take about an eighth inch off, not even. And see how this comes to a point there. That's not gonna come out good. Just cut that right off. You're not losing much meat there doing that. And there's that filet. And the top. These are the nice heavy ones. Feel with your fingers to see if you have any pin bones. See this, this looks like part of the fillet good, but it's not. It's got some pin bones in it. So I'm just gonna run that right off. Right off. See that's got like a bunch of pin bones in there that comes right off. It's not a lot of meat that you're losing. And along this edge here. part here again run that edge clean off all that yucky looking stuff nice and thick there so I'm gonna leave that point on and the bottom part where the where the rib cage was a little bit of just take that off that point off very skinny down here. Take that off. Looks like we got a little bit of grunge going on here. So I'm just going to lay the knife on an angle here to take that off nice and thin. And the top part here looks pretty clean. Nice fillet is ready for breading, seasoning, cooking, barbecuing, whatever you're going to do. That's how you fillet your fluke. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative and please hit the like and subscribe button to get notifications for more videos and to help support this channel. Tight lines, everyone.